The King of Kings DLC, as well as the 1.36 patch for Europa Universalis 4, is here. New patches means new achievements, and assuming you can read, you already saw that we're going for a couple in this run. Specifically, we are going to be going for the two brand new Byzantium achievements introduced. Restore the Pentarchy and the Last Crusade, both on screen now, will be handled easily this time around. That is, assuming that we can break out of the gnarly starting scenario that Tinto has cooked up for Byzantium in 1444. Plenty of action to go today, as well as throughout the entire series, I assure you. So please make sure to like the video if you enjoy it, so that YouTube knows people enjoy it and will push it out to other Roma boos like us. Well, everybody, here we are, back to the place where it all began. <laughs> another patch, another Byzantium run. This time the map looks a little bit different. We've got Syria down here and this province up here. Uh, going to Byzantium, but welcome back everybody to 1.36 here, the King of Kings expansion for Europa Universalis 4. I'm Chewy, if you don't know, well, if you do, well, welcome back. If you don't, well, I am Chewy, like I said. We do Let's Plays on this channel, and today we are going to be starting a new run here as the beautiful Purple Phoenix of Byzantium. So, there's a, there's been a bit of discussion, because they are very challenging, uh, starting off. They are extremely, extremely challenging, um, but... I have been doing a bit of research, and I think I have a bit of a strategy. I was talking to my boy Zlevik, and I know that uh, Ludi had done a video that was quite impressive, and I think that uh, there is going to be quite a bit that we're going to be able to do. So we're going to be following, for the most part, Ludi's guide, I think would be safe to say. But uh, we're going to get our armies over here and get rid of this fort day one. So the major things you're going to see when you're looking at Byzantium, like the major things that are going to jump out at you, are this here. These are terrible and then they all give like increasingly terrible bonuses this deteriorating deteriorating army one is the big one assault fort ability basically gets rid of the gallipoli rush strat uh this one here this reliance on republics the shipbuilding time also hurts the gallipoli <laughs> rush strat but uh do not fret my friends because we do have options we are going to go ahead and get that free mana and we are also going to go with uh, religious diplomats and we are also going to go with Hmm, we could go with Cleric Education, but I don't think we're going to worry too much about that initially. I think for now we're good. For the uh, mill, obviously we're going to go with the mana. We're going to go ahead and go with increased levies. Uh, we're going to get 20% manpower uh, for 4% tax. That's pretty solid. <laughs> That's pretty solid. We are also going to, real quick, release a Bulgaria. Because we have this province here, we can do it. That means we can reconquest all of these cores for them. It does lower our overall development, but I think it actually may even bring our force limit up by one uh, based on uh, that. Yeah, on the monthly tick, we'll probably get an extra mil uh, uh, force limit, which is pretty nice. It'll end up saving us quite a few ducats in the long term. So with them released, we can go ahead and do strong duchies, which we will. And uh, we're also going to go ahead and go with this one here, uh, officer rights. That way we can recruit a general. Hopefully he's good. He's, he's okay. Two shock is fine. The siege pip is very nice. He will be put to use. So that's all for them, at least for now. And uh, for these guys here, we're going to hold off on a couple of these. So first and foremost, we're going to need to be friends with Serbia because this mission here will get us an, um, an event here. And you can see that option one, that is what we're going to go with. Get that 20, 250 ducats from Serbia. Uh, we are also going to go ahead and sell titles rather than get that extra diplo mana. It's going to be very, very useful for us. Um, and so we are going to try to ally these guys. They don't want to ally us unless we scornfully insult somebody. So let's go ahead, send a scornful insult to Wallachia. You suck and I hate you. That will allow us to ally these guys, which means once we, uh, once we get a mill advisor or set our focus on mill here, boom, we can click this day one. Haven't even unpaused yet. And we will ask the Serbians for help. I don't know if it's guaranteed, but they should send us 250 ducats, which is uh, it's pretty good. Statistically significant. Now, this one here we will get. We just need to hire a mill advisor and get the base manpower down here up to four, which is just two. So we will do that as well. And then impending doom. Obviously, we need to find some allies and get uh, our army built up, which is totally fine. So we're also going to try to ally the Pope man because I believe that that will lead to a... I believe there is a... I can't remember exactly what it was. There's something involving the Pope. I'm actually trying to drawing a blank here, but it's okay. We will be able to ally them. Let's go ahead 
and scornfully insult one of their rivals. We'll go with Savoy. And now we are in the negative for prestige. So we're going to improve relations with the Boatman once we're able to. That frees up uh, this here. We'll get 20 prestige. So we got two scornful insults off before we even unpaused, and we have 15 prestige. That's that's pretty solid. Uh, we cannot go indebted to the burgers because we have this reliance on republics here, right? So that the it's either or. But if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can go with force draft, which we will definitely do as well. Uh, draft ships for war. Influence is at least 40. Well, we can do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Financial demand is good for the extra tax. So let's go ahead and go with that. And we need to give them one more to, uh, we could go with free enterprise. Just get their loyalty up. Let's go ahead and just do that. That will allow us to click this button here. Ships for war, which will give us a heavy ship 50% of the time. So a little over three years. That's going to be very useful. Rivals. Let's go ahead and pick Moldavia. And, uh, so let me see here. These guys have rivaled me. No, they have not rivaled me. They do hate me though. Genoa has rivaled me. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and we will rival back Genoa. That is fine. Repair the Theodosian walls. We will not worry about that just yet. Ask for contribution. Probably not necessary. The con Yeah, no, definitely not necessary. Okie dokie. We are going to go ahead we are going to hire the free company down here. We have these guys already on the way. Turn that fort off. No need to pay for it. And uh, might as well have these light ships protecting trade in Constantinople. Sure, why not? Um, so, I think that is about it for openers. As far as I can tell. We're going to stick to speed three for this first episode here. We do want to make sure we are getting a relation with you. Did my heir just die? He died like... <laughs> in the first few days of the game are you kidding me paradox what is that what is that all right we also need to be friends with uh albania allied arrival damn okay well we're gonna hold off on that i'm also going to try let's send a proclaimed guarantee on these guys and let's also let's have Let's have these galleys hunt pirates in uh, Ragusa and have these light ships also hunt pirates in Constantinople. So that way the knights don't raid me. That would be ideal. Now we're going to try to attack Epirus day one. That's, uh, that's definitely the move. Caraman has announced me as a rival. Can I rival Caraman? Oh, we can rival the Ottomans. Nice. Well, I definitely should do that. And now we can ally the Pope. We're very close. Yeah, we definitely want to ally Skanderbro. And we want to ally these guys. On the 12th, we want to attack these guys. Very good. We can do that. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to stand your army there. They are. All right, cool. This is totally fine with me. We do need to make sure we are improving with these guys. I do not want them to raid me. Let's just make sure. Okay, good. They cannot raid me, which means that we will keep our relations nice and high with them. Okay, these guys are now dad. And we can do that. Serbia wants a royal marriage. They did pay me that 200 ducats like I had mentioned. At least I think they did. I think. Pretty sure they did. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. So, this mission here, right. This mission here is uh, kind of important. Or this uh, event here, rather. We can either choose to do the Union of Churches, which will cause Orthodox Zealots, or we can tell them to kick rocks. I don't want to do this. Now, it was this mission here. If I'm allied to the Pope, we get bonus for Merc costs. So, that's why I needed to ally the Pope. So, we've already scornfully insulted his rival. Okay, let's just set him to friendly, just to make sure. Now, Serbia, I will not stay friends with them. We will not do that. They're blockading over here. 
I don't want to sink all their ships if I don't have to. Okay, yeah. We're going to be able to land them as allies. These guys, possibly? What is this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If we can break off this alliance, we should be fine. Let's go ahead. Dissolve this alliance. The early... Do you, do you guys feel like we're doing quite a bit of micro? Because I feel like I am. I never play speed 3. But, um... The main thing is, is I don't want to get raided. That's kind of the, the major one. Let's see if I can get these guys to attach to me. I will go ahead and get a guy here. Now, I want this. I do not want to sink this fleet. It's very important that we do not sink this fleet. Did I not hire those mercs? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I hired them in Corinth, which had that heavy ship. Speaking of, I should have actually queued up some... Um, I should have actually queued up some ships. So let's go ahead and do that as well. First off, let's hire the free company right here. And then we will queue up some galleys behind them. Might as well do it in every single province. Yeah, it's just a few months. It's not a big deal. It shouldn't be the end of the world. Main thing is, is I need to make sure that we are... Um, heading over here. Killing those boyos. Siege in this. And then siege in that. And then we peace out. So... We are going to click this, but we are going to wait until the Pope Man is my ally. Lord Whalen. Yes, the Pope Man will be my friend. And we are improving with all the other guys we'd like to join. I think I might see here. The Okay, the ally, the Ottomans have allied AQ, which is great. Because Georgia generally wants some land from them. Yeah. So we can probably, probably get a Georgia ally as well. We'll see. Being an empire is super ace for, for the extra, uh, whatchamacallit. For the extra uh, diplomat. Very useful. Very useful. Uh, nope. No need for that. Now. Yeah, I should actually. You want some crown land as soon as we get to peace? Obviously, these Miles are pretty terrible. Especially considering that this down here already has quite a bit of <laughs> autonomy. Yeah, you can tell our economy is not doing terrible, actually. Considering the fact that we are, you know, running at force limit with mercs. Right? O over force limit, even. So, yeah, we're doing okay. We'll see what we can do here. Now, let's go up to speed four for this war, at least. We do want to avoid that uh, naval battle, though. We don't want... We want those 11 ships. Those are those 11 ships are going to be very, very useful for us whenever we go to fight the Ottomans. Five galleys, right? Put that into perspective. The gal Ottomans have seven galleys. I have five as well. So, that's ten just between us. These guys have three. Thirteen. And then, if the knights want to ally me... Uh, they've got a navy around there somewhere, I'm sure. 21. An air. Jonas, the 133. It's not the best, but you'll do. You will do. Uh, no. Ah, still no 42. Come on now. Paradox, please. I don't know if we're going to finish the Ottoman War in this first episode, but we will definitely get it kicked off. That is the intention, at least. Oh, shisa. Right, who can I call back the fastest? Um, <laughs> established communities trading policy? I have that. The Knights does. Interesting. Okay. Uh, he's also a naive enthusiast. I don't know if that's a vanilla. or I don't know if that's like scripted or not. Shoot. Okay. That's fine. We, we, uh, we're not going to lose any ships. We're going to take Arda, since it is our core. We'll have them revoked their core on Yanya. <laughs> uh, and then we will have them end their rivalry, which will get us a little bit of extra prestige, which is going to be nice. We're going to vassalize them. We're also going to force religion. We'll have them give up claims, and then we will have them give us all of their money for a nice, juicy 100% peace deal. 25 ducats is super, super nice. We get to take their navy. They are a little bit disloyal, but that is really not a big deal. Uh, and that will also allow us to finish this mission here, as soon as we have allied the Pope Man. Now, too many Diplo relations, huh? Oh, give me a break, Pope Man. Okay, so these guys are close. And these guys are ready. So let's see here. Can I get a Diplo guy? I can. <laughs> so close. And they've raided me. Damn it. I don't really know how to get around that then. Okay, Scanderbro wants to ally me, which is great. 
Now these guys are really, really thinking about it. Let's turn that army maintenance down. We're going to need to improve relations with these lads. ASAP. Mm-hmm. Let's click that button. We need to get our crown land up ASAP as well. Being at peace is going to be helpful for that autonomy. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> That's pretty damn bad. Okay, well, we have been raided. Is it over here? They raided Constantinople? You bastards. You bastards. Why you do this? I'm trying. I'm literally trying to be your friend. But I can't because I hate you because you raided me. I need those ships, bro. Ten ships. Five more galleys. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, uh, let's see here. These guys definitely would be a good friend. Remember, we have strong duchies, so we've got extra diplo slots, which is Vundva. Now, ideally, we're going to get that extra relations with the Pope. Oh, yeah, we can do this. We can totally do this. Let's go ahead and state this up. And we're going to get our armies over here, get our navy over here. Yeah. Going to keep those guys protecting trade, though. Any, like, money saved is money earned, right? Okay. Crack down. Okay. So this one here, we could get rid of this, but it would cost us a ton of money. Tax exemption for Latin merchants, right? So we could get rid of this outright. Consequentially, we can go with the, which one is it? Um, Latin favoritism one. So if we're making a ton of money, have a trader diplo advisor at least level three the seven ducats a month is actually going to be like that's quite a bit off i i didn't do it in my test run but i very well oh, we want that 25 percent merc maintenance cost i think we'll just take the money well that's a problem that future me can deal with right okay so pope man we're still just waiting very diligently waiting Okay. Uh-huh. We can recall you. Now, oh, why do they jump in back and forth? Ah! <laughs> okay, there we go. Our Diplo situation is... <laughs> um, you know, it's not the best. But we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, we don't really need it. Venice is hostile to me, though. Like, that's... That could be a problem. I need to ally the Pope if possible. I think I'm going to try sending them a gift. We have, you know, some money, at least. Oof, I do hate the idea of spending lots of money, but I think... <laughs> 75 is steep, but I think it's worth it if it means I can basically guarantee an alliance with them. Hey, free mill mana? Heck yeah. Bulgaria wants to be a march. Well, here's an option as well. We could also make them one of these pronuar or whatever. These are a new type of government, or uh, subject type, rather. And uh, they, they get integrated via, like, a personal union kind of deal. It's kind of cool. All right. So, we are kind of sitting here now. We will be declaring war shortly. So, we're going to ally these guys. And that will allow us to get this union of churches privilege, which will give us an extra 15% merc maintenance cost for uh, 15 years. Pretty good. This also gives us 10% morale of armies, which does get rid of at least, or at least negates part of this 5%. We can also go with um, Expansionist Zealotry, I believe. Well, that's these guys. Which will get us a further 5%. So we're going to do that. And that will completely get rid of that. And lots of claims, of course. Which is great. Uh, I'm also going to immediately break off the alliance with them because I want the Diplomana. And, uh, you know, they're, they're fine, but I don't, I don't need them. Uh, also, then false despots here for uh, having Alt Arta and uh, Cephalonia. I think that's Cephalonia. Yeah. And that will give us 75 Diplo as well as uh, a free core on them, which is very cool. I actually missed that in my test run. And more claims. And just like that, two years into the game, by the way. <laughs> so you can see Byzantium is, it, it, we're doing okay. I'm going to go ahead. Oof, I do think I need to get rid of this guy. Losing the Diplo mana is, is painful. I do think we're going to get rid of that. So we're just going to wait until the Ottomans declare war. Our ships are not going to be done anytime soon. But uh, yeah, this strategy very heavily depends on them declaring war. So if I were to declare war right now, Georgia would not join. Really? 
Ooh. You don't want some land? You don't want Kanak or something? I might be able to call them in after the war kicks off. I don't know. So let's also take a look at some mercs here. Ideally, we're going to get a merc company that's got some sieges, but it looks like two is the best we're going to get for siege pips, which is, I mean, you know, it's not ideal, but a 4-2 is fine. A 2-4 is great. A 1-5-1. One, one. This guy's good. He'll get hired for sure. That 5 shock is great, especially if we get caught out without Skander, bro. That 5 shock is going to be pretty helpful. 4-3 is also quite solid. Uh, we also have the palace guard, but this general's garbage. Oh, <laughs> feels bad. They're uh, they're they're also not that great. Say that's unfortunate. Th this is the only real RNG I would say of this strategy. Uh, let's also break off that relationship. Doesn't matter anymore. That frees up that diplo slot. We can get rid of. Well, we should probably try to find an alliance up here. Let's see if we can ally Austria, because if Austria gets hungry, they would be uh, a very great help here. Now, are you guys improved enough to be my friend? It says we need to have a positive opinion of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about all that. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Oh, give me a break, man. I guess we can lose a little bit of money. That's not very good. We're already very heavily in the negative. <laughs> so we can't ally them. We just are not allowed to because of the uh, because of the uh, the rating. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start currying favors with these guys just in case. Oh, 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 oh. I see Ottoman armies moving. Uh, uh, oh, maybe, maybe. Is it time? Yep, yeah, I think they're about to declare a war over here. So, let's do our dang thing here. Let's get a siege general, the Krabbits here. And then, let's get that 1-5 guy over here. That's going to put us well over our limit. But keep in mind, we have some very solid mercenary maintenance costs here. Um, come again? <laughs> mercenary cost? Does that affect maintenance? Maybe? I don't know. I feel like it should. Let me see here, actually. Yeah, I think it definitely does. Mercenary company is 0.3. The free company probably... Eh, I don't know. Maybe it does not. It doesn't cost how much. But this is great. Um, can I ally you guys? I really don't... Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let's ally them. This is literally perfect. The Ottomans have still not declared. But if I were to attack... Albania and Georgia and the Knights would both come in, and Georgia would not. Damn. They would be a great punching bag for them. <laughs> Serbia's gone. They're probably going to declare war on Kandar. The Mams would possibly be a good ally. I should probably... Be prioritizing getting some spy network on these guys. It's going to be very helpful. Every little single bit is going to help. Moldavia has been vassalized by Poland. Okay. That means Poland instantly much more useful for us. Because they're going to have a border with the autos. Okay, they've declared their war. Georgia not wanting this land is a pain. If they just wanted land, they'd be a great punching bag. Because they've got... Uh, Tbilisi here is a level three mountain fort? No. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. But they have two forts, two mountain forts right next to each other. And I believe they have uh, made fort defense in their in their stuff. So that's actually, they, they make a really good diversion. <laughs> so as far as I know, this is about it. Oh, crap. Those other mercs didn't get recruited as well. I for gore. Okay. We need to recruit them over here here so it'd be me and scanner bro versus the uh the auto blob and then their navy so we're now that we're allied we don't need okay we definitely want to at least wait for the autos to be invested into a siege okay 
go ahead and do do this declare. I'm really upset that Georgia doesn't want in. They might join. They very well may join. So we're going to go for a uh, reconquest of... Let's go for Terhala here. And we are actually going to rush Selenik. That's the that's what we're actually rushing for. Because we want to get this fort ASAP. You see we've got the two siege on the general there. Now would you guys join... They do not want a call to arms. Even if I were to offer them land. That is tragic. You can take this province. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is fine. I mean, tentatively. Let's have these guys all attached just to make sure. You can shift click that and it will um, have them automatically attached to the biggest army. So we've got naval dominance as far as I know here. They've already lost two ships. So we have 20 galleys versus their seven, which is pretty solid. Oh, a looming catastrophe. Word has reached Jonas, citizens of Constantinople. Well, the Ottoman Sultan has begun a march to the city, army of Janissaries to support him. Interesting. Okay, so a free stab is pretty solid, but what about two stab for the price of one? 90 admin, and we're at two stab. That's pretty solid, huh? That's pretty solid. So here's a big old 15 stack walking over, 16 stack. We've got a 20 stack. Let's say, uh, hey, Skander, bro, if you, uh, oh, they're attacking me. Help. Help. No. Oh, it's unfortunate. They took super heavy losses, but so did we. Damn. That is very unfortunate. And they're probably going to go stack wipe Skander, bro, now. Oh, hey. Yeah, nice. And uh, the Hexamillion wall. Right. Let's go ahead and put these guys on dev cost. We're going to need that, that hexamillion wall there. So let's see if we can also get a... Um, mm -hmm. Discipline advisor is great. Let's get that hexamillion wall, which will allow us to either upgrade the Theodosian walls for cheaper. We're not going to do that. Or get a castle in Corinth, which is wonderful. <laughs> we just instantly spawn one in there. Now, sadly, I don't think it actually has a... Um, no way. Oh, shoot. It was like a day off. Yikes, yikes, yikes. This is, uh, that's actually like really bad. Okay. <laughs> the palace guard. Uh-huh. How about, what is this song? This is nice and all that, but. Let's see here. Let's, um. Sadly, these those guys are going to get stack wiped. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so let's have the palace guard built up here. Does that mean these guys are now on the monthly tick going to be stuck under Corinth? Because there's a... Yeah, these guys are stuck down here, actually. <laughs> they are now stuck there. Okay. So not all is lost. Sadly, the... Um... Okay. So if they've got a 3-2 and a 3-3... Three, three, we have a 1-5. This is a minus. <laughs> I do love to see Athens over here doing that. Scander Bro's going to join me? Come on, Scander Bro. We just need to make sure that this uh, garrison does not fall. Scander Bro is actually putting in some work over here. I just don't think I win. This is a minus one for them if they were to take it. Defense in depth. This will give us Merc Discipline and Merc Cost as well as Army Tradition. So that means we have 10% discipline with these guys. Let me see here. We don't have any Patriarch Authority. Nice. Oh, right. Autonomous Merchants. UI mods are now broken. It was bad. That is from a UI mod. Let's go ahead and go with the Clerical Ministers. That way we can start getting some yearly Patriarch Authority. Probably could have had that earlier. This is fine. Scander bro, I need you. I need you, Scander bro. Oh, are these guys disloyal? Oh, they are. How, how disloyal are we talking? Oh, they're they're not really disloyal. Okay, we can we can we can fit we can fix him. There we go. Not disloyal anymore. Okay. So, and Athens is here as well. I think we can probably make this happen now. If they want to reinforce, they can. We will also sortie. No. Oh my gosh! Why are we getting shredded? That's crazy. 
How are we getting absolutely shredded like that? It's unfortunate. Luckily, Constantinople's here. Oh, and I should probably have put this guy on the... Uh, oh, I can't do the defensiveness edict. Okay. This is actually fine with me. Now, Skander, bro, if you would m kindly help me kill off this troop. This is a large portion of their entire army over here. Now, they are sieging down Synop, so they're going to be piecing out of that war very shortly here. Skander, bro, please, for the love of God, attach to my army. Please, Skander, bro, please. Please, Skander, bro. <laughs> Come to me. Come to me. There's a 21% chance. Please, Skander, bro. There we go. Thank you. No, Skander, bro. Hey. You absolute jerk. What are you doing? Ugh. This is stressful, man. This is stressful. He will not attach. Let's go with one more repair tick here. I don't win this. Yeah, I just don't think I win this. Even if we reinforce everybody here. Ideally, we'd have a morale advisor. That would be more useful. I probably could have hired a couple more mercs. But at this point, it's too late. If they win this siege, this is it's kind of a big deal. Hmm. Dude, what is this? Why is my morale going down so fast? 2.8? How do I have only 2.8? I know that I've got that ma that malice, but I have plus 15 as well. They just have that much morale? They have the advisor and janissary example. Yeah, they got a 20% boost. Damn. Yeah, this fort's done. Feels bad. Well, I guess, uh, I guess we're just going to... Switch this over to defensiveness, of course. Even if it just wastes a little bit of their time. Ask for 100 ducats from the Ottomans. Sounds good, man. Let's go ahead and get our two siege guy on here. Yep. Feels bad they took our fort. Well, if Auto Bro or uh, Scander Bro won't stick to me, I'll skip to Scander Bro. Stick to Scander Bro. How about that? I do hate the idea of losing a fort here, but it's really not a big deal. Who else are you guys at war with, huh? Dolkadir, huh? Oh, nice. Genoese Conquest of Sinop, huh? Sinop. Where's Sinop? Over here. Defender against Genoa. So, wait a minute. Genoa has attacked for, as... What the heck? How did... Why would you get a claim over there? That's so weird. How cool would it be if the Ottomans... uh vassalize them <laughs> so yeah this isn't my best showing but so far so decent <laughs> i wouldn't say it's going well but uh this is this is reasonable if once we take selenic we should be okay oh oh let's go let's go we have our <laughs> we have our favors this we just opened up a whole new front with these guys so these guys have their entire army over here <laughs> let's go this is 100% going to cause the AI to, to want to go over there. This is good. This is really good. Come on now. 42. Hey, there we go. Let's uh, scorch this province here. Now, I want to see if we can... Oh! 13th? 13th. Who's going to be there first? Are we going to take a minus 2? They took a minus 3. Let's go. Okay, this is good. Now, Scanderbro needs to reinforce. Oh, that was so lucky. <laughs> So lucky, lads. That was so lucky. Ah, okay. We just. Oh, this is so good. Okay. Oh, Scanner Bro wanted to. He wanted that smoke. Okay. So now the Ottomans are down to 21k, which is fine. We still have money. We don't have a single loan. So things are going well. Obviously, this first episode is going to be a little bit longer. I'm sure you guys don't mind that. Yeah. Let's detach here. Let's get some carpet sieging down. I'm not going to worry about Corinth. Obviously, we're going to want to siege down some stuff over here as well, but we'll we'll do what we can in time. With these guys opening up an extra front over there, we might be able to piece out AQ. And then autos will probably go for them, if I had to guess. I don't know, man. It's honestly hard to say. Scanner Bros probably going to occupy this for himself, if I had to guess. They got a lot of men over here. A lot of little one stacks. We should probably be trying to catch, catch those one 10 to 1s. You know what they say, right? Always take your 10 to 1s. 
Yes, yes, yes. This is fine. They're over here sieging down my subject, which is one way to go about it. Let's come on over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We are in the woods. Are they going to take a minus one? They are. Interesting. They're going to also steamroll me with a minus two. Their losses are crazy heavy, though. Yeah. I Wait, my losses are crazy heavy. I mean, so are theirs, to be fair, but... Like, they can't, uh, they can't afford these losses. So that is good. Scanderbro is over here sieging down this fort. You've got to be joking. Let's uh, get over here onto this mountain province. Okay. This is, this is actually really good for us. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. Okay. So, we can now white piece out these guys. That opens up another fort for the Ottomans to possibly siege down. And so now what we're looking at, okay, we are, we're really doing okay here because these guys are going to like distract them and they're going to see all these small armies over here. They're going to be like, oh, I can fight these guys. At least I reckon that's what's going to happen here. <sighs> yeah, these guys are about to get attacked here. Let's see if we can uh, honeypot them with a small little stack here. Yes, perfect. So they'll be there on the 14th and we can be there before that. Yep, they're locked in. So these guys are actually going to take a uh, a fairly sizable. It's a minus three. Scorch Earth is overpowered, baby. It's calculated. Though my morale is absolute dog water. <laughs> oh, my poor morale. So now my army's going to flee over here. Meanwhile, they're getting siege down over here. So it could be worse, all things considered. Let's get this navy grouped up over here. Okay. So, the pressing issue is going to be these two stacks here. Skanderbro is... Where? Where is Skanderbro? Is he attached to me? He is. Okay. So, we're going to need a month or two to recoup. Oh my gosh, just my poor war exhaustion. Oh my gosh. Plus 12 national unrest. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> okay. Now... If we can have these armies separated, that would be ideal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sit. All right, let's also scorch this province here. All right. We're going to go one more morale tick. No, we're all full morale. So we're going to head down here. Do a bit of shift consolidation. That will at least pull this army off of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really good for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so good. Okay. And those losses are basically pure. Oh, is this Miltech? Oh, let's go, baby. We've got Miltech. Okay. So these guys are going to head into Arda here. They're going to be there on the 28th. I can't be there before that. Unfortunate. No, wait. Skinder, bro. What are you doing, homie? Don't do it. Why would you do that? That's foolish. I mean, we're going to win, but at what cost? But at what cost? Okay, so now the Ottomans are down to 15k. They are occupied over here. Whew. This is this is crazy. <laughs> Admitted this. Admittedly, this is probably quite sloppy. I'm I'm fully aware of that. Another 12 stack coming our way. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Okay, at least they're going on to there. Uh, there's 16. So that's their whole army sieging me down. We are in the uh, currently in the loan phase, and we also need to get that uh, ticking war score ASAP. So let's get these guys down here to siege that ticking war score. Sadly, the uh, the siege of Corinth is painful. The Renaissance is here. That ticking war score is going to get us an, an immediate 10 to 15% war score. Very good. Okay. So realistically, we're going to have to get these guys off of that fort. Their, uh, their war exhaustion is ticking up just as fast as mine is, which is wonderful. Let's have you guys head up here. Have you guys head up here. And uh, we're just going to we're gonna do our best here. We might be able to bankrupt them in this war. Oh, it looks like Scanderbro died. Oh, so sad. Rest in peace, Scanderbro. Okay. Now, 
Yeah, a little bit of patriarch authority would go a long way for us, but uh, it ain't going to happen. Now, let's turn that edict off as well. No need to pay for it. Let's turn this edict on over here. Free money? That's the best kind. All right. So, do we risk it for the biscuit? I mean, we can, or this one's going to immediately go back, but Athens, let's do it. I'm going to need you, Athens. All right. I don't know if we can do this. Oh, they fled. Let's go. All right. Let's see if we can. Hold on. Where are you fleeing to? Where are you fleeing to, huh? Where are they fleeing to? Let's go! I think this is a stack wipe. Oh, they're fleeing to Corinth. They're fleeing to Corinth. Oh, let's go! Is this a stack wipe? Not a stack wipe. Now it is. Where are you going, dude? Oh, give me a break. Oh, come on now. I just got absolutely shafted. Merc companies in low manpower. That's all right. Okay. So now we're going to try to win these two sieges. And once we do that, we should be able to probably rush on over there. Meanwhile, George is just being an absolute giga Chad. Like, look at this, dude. Who cares about the loans? The loans mean nothing. I'm not even looking at them. I don't care. I don't care at all. Because we're going to get absolutely rich off of this war here. And yes, I know the first episode is going to be long. I'm sure you guys don't mind. <laughs> I'm sure you don't mind. My wife is downstairs waiting for me to come down and cook dinner. But Roma is eternal. You know, lads, we got to do it. Here we go. They're joining us. <laughs> okay, you guys do not need to actually attach to me. You can do whatever you want now. They just marched right past that fort because Constantinople. Oh, we've got their capital. Look at this war score. Okay. This is so juicy. I love this. <laughs> oh, feels so good, man. Oh, it feels so good. And this was, you guys saw it. I made some mistakes. Like, I'm the first to admit, I made some seriously weird mistakes in this one. Oh, no. Not two war exhaustion. What am I going to do? I'm up to 21. I didn't even know. Oh, that's funny. I didn't even know you could go over 21. It instantly reset to 20. Gallipoli has been sieged down. Let's get on over here to Sugla. And at least get that uh, occupied and besieged provinces. And then... Maybe get on to Ko Ko Kojali, Kogali, or however that is pronounced. Get a couple of small... Occupation bonuses here. I'm just trying to siege down a bunch of little provinces here. Get onto Ankara, Ankara, however it's pronounced. And we are going to. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to siege down as much little. Not even siege them. Like, if you're on the fort, you get the, the extra bonus there. So, of course, the peace deal. We will take all of our cores, except for Adirn, because I wanted them to keep their capital there. It's very important. Look at this. So far, we're doing okay. 10 AE. All right. So now uh, we're going to have you guys give back. Well, I could come over here, actually. Hmm. And then how much money are we going to get? 500. How much of that will I actually get? 360. Everybody will be upset with me, but I don't really care. I don't need them anymore. Scanner Bros dead. Okay, let's get a couple more province occupations. Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> All right, like we got a little bit extra money there. So this is fine. We'll get uh, these claim, these, this core, or this is a fort, fort, fort. They're going to have their capital fort over here. And just like that, Scanderbro and these guys are upset with me. I don't give a uh, rat's tuchus. <laughs> You guys can kick rocks. Look at that, baby. Reverse the downfall. More permanent claims. Free money. 30 ducats. That's absolutely busted. 800 manpower. And look at that, by the way. We still have manpower, which is pretty crazy. Recovery of Greece, which will give us monthly war exhaustion, which uh, Lord knows we need it, and some Diplo rep, as well as Big PP, which uh, we actually already have Big PP because we just destroyed our rivals here of the Ottomans. And that means, yes, let's go. <laughs> the Phoenix rises. Nico Media has been reclaimed. And so we shall. Lads, I hope you are as excited for this campaign as I am. Goes to show it is not too hard. We are eight years in. Our first war with the Ottomans is over. I probably will not 
be a no CBing them. I know that is part of some, of, or not no CB, uh, truce breaking. Probably won't do that. Uh, I know that is a strat that some people do. I will not be doing that today. Uh, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this run so far. Um, and I hope you're looking forward to what is to come. Because I know I certainly am. If you are, make sure you leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, ding the bell so you get notified when these videos go up live. Because they're going to be going up live every single weekday until further notice. So that's all I got for you for this one. I hope you or, or, can you tell I'm excited. I'm over here like jibber jabber. Uh, don't forget to like the video, like I said. And I will see you in the next one. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Akadia, Geol, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Grover, Bubba J, Saronska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.